The force applied to a body as a result of acceleration is measured by g-force, also referred to as acceleration force. It happens when an object changes speed or direction and is commonly measured in multiples of Earth's gravitational force, with 1 g being equivalent to 9.81 meters per square second. G-forces are vital to the performance of the car and the driver in Formula One racing, since they influence the car's handling and aerodynamics, as well as the driver's ability to perform. One of the main reasons Formula One drivers go through such rigorous physical training is because they are in a compromised position to drive their cars if they are unable to withstand large quantities of G-force. In an F1 race, G-force is frequently experienced during sudden acceleration or deceleration, such as when the driver applies the brakes to turn a curve. A typical Formula One race with no incidents might witness accelerations of up to 5 Gs for the drivers. As a result, their body weight is effectively five times more than their average mass. A driver's body may experience up to 60 Gs in severe collisions. The neck and core bear the brunt of the strain, thus they need to be especially strong. Multiple seat belts are fastened to drivers inside their cars in the cockpit. Being strapped in so firmly aids in G-force because the body cannot move around much. The maximum G-force an F1 car and driver can handle varies depending upon several factors, but it is typically within the range of 6 Gs to 7 Gs for lateral force during cornering and up to 5 Gs for longitudinal force during acceleration or deceleration. The G-force also affects the spring J component of an F1 car suspension system.